Hey guys, it's me again. Here's part two of the horn install. I got the yesterday, December 29th. I got the air tank here that you're seeing installed. I originally did the video yesterday for it, but due to technical issues for the volume, it didn't come out too well. So I decided to go ahead and redo it with it by doing the that it has been installed. What I had to do was for the bolts here to connect it to the bed. I marked it, had the tank sitting right where it's at. Marked the holes to be drilled with a marker. I drilled them out. Originally, I was going to put the ground wire here on the other side but due to not having much room to be able to get in there plus on the underneath the bed there's a cross member for the steady for stabilization so I couldn't use do that one so I had to put the ground wire here and hopefully it works and I've only got two bolts in there holding it together so hopefully that should be tight enough next I'm going to try and work on getting the airline ran which I may have to just use this hole here that's already pre-made and run the line underneath the truck and up into the engine compartment to be able to work it right for that to go into the trumpets but other than that that's pretty much it I was thinking of doing the next installment for the for that line today but due to it being about 45 degrees and feels colder today than it did yesterday I'll probably wait a day or so to see what happens. Right now, I just need to try and stay warm. And hopefully with this video, the sound is much better when I go to edit. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. I hope you click that like and subscribe button to get more videos as I find something that I can put up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty guys, today is December 30th, still. I did have enough energy to go ahead and install the air line here as you see that I'm moving. I ran it through the, from the horns down to here as you can see. It's gone under the truck the best I can without pinching anything. And give me just a moment here and I'll crawl under and show you where it's running up to. I do still have to get some zip ties or something to hold the hosing up because I still got to get my driver's side gas tank on and as you can see there's the airline running across and through the hole that I was originally going to do the wiring but for right now I just went ahead and ran it through there so eventually it'll get tightened up and hopefully to where it's not going to dangle onto the gas tank. And give me just a second here and I'll show you in the, the bed part of it. And there's the line going into the tank. So... I got that much done and hopefully I can find something that will tie the excess line up underneath so I can, it's not dangling. 
But for me, that's about it for today, because, as you can probably tell from my breathing, I'm already out of breath. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.